Hey, just because it's fall doesn't mean garden season is over. Do tell, what could I possibly garden this time of year? Let's go, I'll show you. Alright, hey, so we are at the garden here and we're going to get ready to start planting our cool season crops. So we're going to start to clear out some of our old ones, maybe the zucchini plant that no longer produces 900 squash a day, just to make sure that our cool season crops have enough space and sunlight to get started. So I'm going to clear out this little patch of bolted greens and kale, and all the kale that I can't eat or share with friends, I can share on Fresh Food Connect to make sure that the food doesn't go to waste. Some seeds like radishes or carrot seeds need a looser soil for a healthy root development and space to grow. You can put these seeds directly into the soil. I'm going to try to break it down to be as fine as possible. And note, you can borrow garden tools from the Urban Ecology Center. So remember, whatever seeds you choose, you need to make sure that they're going to be ready and matured and ready to yield before the first frost. So go and get them in the ground now. I'm gonna plant some beets in a barrel here. Barrels and buckets make for some great gardens too. You can control the moisture with drainage and keep out weeds. And you can bring your beet buckets in at night to avoid the first frost. All right, so there's a couple perks to your cooler season crops. It's gonna be cooler, that means less watering, as well as there's a ton of sales going on at your garden stores for end of season seeds. The sweetest thing though, so through the process of photosynthesis, when the plant is bringing in energy and converting it into sugars or starches, when it gets really cold, the plant needs to protect itself. So it frees up these sugars that are in the starches and it brings them back into the cell to keep to make it a little more resistant from the frost. This makes for a super sweet carrot, kale, spinach, sweet things. Well, good luck growing and thanks for joining. Share with us what you grow at UEC in my backyard. Bye.